Hey my friend, it's Bryn Blaze with Elevation Guild. Welcome to this in-depth review of the Ultron blockchain and Mavi Global. By the end of this presentation, you will have all the information you need to make an informed decision on whether or not this is a project you want to be involved in. We're going to cover a lot in this review, everything from the team behind the project, what is a layer one blockchain and what problems is it trying to solve? Is it truly the future of DeFi or is it just a rehashed cookie cutter blockchain? We'll be diving into the tokenomics of the ULX coin, how it's holding up against downward pressure in this crypto winter and if the tokenomics are sustainable. We'll cover the NFT staking hub and the potential rewards for you over the next five years. We'll look at the future roadmap, where this project plans to be in the future and the probability of them getting there. We'll also be taking a look at the Mavi Global Compensation Plan, the rewards plan, how that distribution channel is impacting customer acquisition and building global awareness and mass adoption. And we also got to meet the CEO of Ultron as well as visit the Mavi Global offices in Dubai. So we'll share the insights and what we learned with you towards the end as well. So a lot of value here in this video, my friends. And if you get value from this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to stay in the loop with future in-depth reviews similar to this. So let's dive in. Let's start out with the high level overview of the Ultron blockchain and the vision of the company. Ultron is a layer one blockchain and they claim to be the fastest growing layer one blockchain in the world. We will confirm whether or not that is true with real data here in a few moments. A layer one blockchain is the base network. Similar coins would be Bitcoin, Ethereum and close competitors or future rivals would be Avalanche, Solana, Cardano. Their goal is to reach 100 million users with over a thousand dApps, decentralized apps built and integrated onto this layer one blockchain as well as become one of the top 10 layer one blockchains in the world. Confidence in the traditional financial system is rapidly eroding with banks collapsing left and right, archaic architecture and shady practices. As governments endlessly print more fiat currency, it dilutes the purchasing power of that currency, resulting in inflation as they throttle the lever of interest rates in an attempt to control that inflation. You do not control those financial assets, those companies, those institutions are in control of your financial assets. Blockchain technology is a solution to this pressing problem because you remain in full control of your digital assets. And the Ultron coin, as an example, is a deflationary coin. There is a finite supply and there's inflation control measures built into the tokenomics of the coin. We'll dive into it in more detail later in this Ultron review. But because it's a finite supply, as more users onboard and utilize this native token, through the law of supply and demand, it stipulates that the value must increase. Right now, only 4% of the global population are utilizing blockchain technology. And one of the biggest obstacles and friction points to them getting into this world is the complexity. Most people trip at the first hurdle because the user interfaces in the world of crypto are very complicated. You would need a degree in IT to be able to navigate them. And that complexity is a real stopping point for most people. Ultron's objective is to solve this problem and accelerate mass adoption by rolling out simple, easy user interfaces that the average person can use through native dApps that are all built on the Ultron layer one blockchain. Simplification of the technology. And right here is probably one of the most important things to consider when making an assessment of whether or not all of this is possible. And that is the team behind the Ultron Foundation. And I must admit, it is a very impressive team with over 40 senior developers that have previously worked on Polygon, Solana, Polkadot, Hyperledger, the Binance Smart Chain and Phantom. Very experienced and before the mainnet launched on the 1st of June 2022, it was already 30 months in development. It's the first and only layer one blockchain with its own native ecosystem. Take the Binance Smart Chain, for example, their decentralized exchange, their DEX, is PancakeSwap, it's a third party. Same with Uniswap for the Ethereum blockchain, whereas here everything is native to this layer one blockchain and built in-house by this incredible team. 
Millions of transactions already executed on the Ultron blockchain, which we will confirm with real data here in a moment when we dive into ULXScan, the block explorer. Here it is listed as a top 20 layer 1 blockchain in terms of TVL, total value locked, but at the time of recording this video it has actually moved into the top 10. Here we are on the DeFiLama.com website to confirm that. This website aggregates and pulls together a lot of on-chain metrics for us and right here we're looking at TVL, total value locked on all the different chains and we're including staking in this search. And as you can see right here, Ultron is number 9 right now with a total of $394.9 million in TVL, total value locked which is an excellent metric to assess the trustworthiness and overall health of a DeFi protocol and user confidence. Here we are on ULXScan.com, the block explorer for the Ultron blockchain, to confirm those millions of transactions. As you can see, over 6.2 million transactions at the time of this Ultron review video. Just shy of 100,000 unique wallet addresses, a long way to go to reach that 100 million target and nine validators right now their goal is a thousand validators the more validators the more secure and decentralized the network and the more that will attract developers to build their dApps on this blockchain if you're tech savvy i encourage you to read through the white paper over at the ultron foundation website it'll give you deep insight into just how scalable and efficient this blockchain is Bitcoin, for example, can manage about five transactions per second, whereas the Ultron blockchain can literally handle thousands per second. It's very efficient, very scalable, and competitively low fees as it continues to scale. It uses parallel processing and leaderless proof of stake and a lot of powerful concepts. With the incredible team behind this, they've really pulled off something that could potentially compete with those rivals like Polkadot, Solana, Cardano. So keep in mind, my friend, this is a long-term play. The further into the future you can see, the better your short-term decisions will be. We're talking three, five, ten years. If you're a patient investor, that is how long it usually can take for a blockchain of this nature to acquire tens and even hundreds of millions of users. But the payoff can be enormous when you get in at the foundation. And with the NFT staking hub, it's literally going to generate ULX tokens for you passively for five years. And it'll actually compound as well. We'll dive into the NFT staking hub in a lot more detail later in this review. So stay tuned for that. And we'll also show you the results we've experienced with our own staking hub since March of this year. The Ultron decentralized exchange is live over at ultronswap.com quite a sleek and clean user interface. It is beyond the scope of this video to dive into all the functionality. However, they do have weekly live trainings to guide you step by step through everything. You can swap tokens, provide liquidity, earn farming yields, and they have a cross-chain bridge, which is very impressive, which allows you to seamlessly bridge to uh, multiple blockchains, including Ethereum, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and Phantom. Listings reach and exposure is growing rapidly as you saw a few moments ago. Number 9 right now on DeFi Llama out of 195 blockchains in terms of TVL. Many DEX, decentralized and centralized exchange listings. At the time of recording this video just about one week ago they got listed on BitMart which is a top 20 centralized crypto exchange in terms of daily trading volume averaging about three quarters of a billion dollars in trading volume per day. Before we dive into the flagship product, the NFT staking hub, it's important that we take a close look at the Ultron coin, the ULX coin, because after all the Ultron staking hub is going to be generating us passive rewards in the form of the ULX coin. So we need to assess the probability of it holding, sustaining its value and potentially increasing in value over time. Is it just another worthless coin with no intrinsic value or does it have real utility? The first thing that must be in place is that it must be a deflationary coin, which it is. There's a 50 billion max supply, inflationary control measures including buyback and burning mechanism. As more people on board, as more people utilize the Ultron blockchain, through the law of supply and demand that can potentially increase its value. 
And in terms of utility, the ULX coin, the Ultron coin, is the native coin to the Ultron Layer 1 blockchain. It's used for everything. It's used to secure the network and it's used to fuel every single decentralized app that's built now and in the future onto the Ultron blockchain. Here on the screen you can see the all-time price action for the ULX coin. As usual with every coin, a surge out of the gate with somewhat of a pullback, but I'd like to bring your attention to how well this coin is holding its value in the downward pressure of a crypto winter. That is a testament to multiple factors including the tokenomics, the strategic unvesting and unlock periods, and also user confidence. To give you an example, as a comparison to some future rivals, here is Solana, here is Polkadot. I mean, they've lost a lot of their value, but the fact that this is holding its value shows that there's a lot of progress happening on the chain and law of supply and demand. Once again, there is a constant influx of new users and people are holding and staking the token long term. Quite a nice daily trading volume, averaging anywhere from half a million to a million per day. If we look where that's coming from, it's mainly coming from Pancake Swap, the primary DEX decentralized exchange for the Binance Smart Chain, and then these three centralized exchanges right here. Here you can see a graphical representation of the tokenomics, the distribution of the max supply of those 50 billion ULX tokens. First thing we need to look for is asymmetric distribution. Is there a large percentage of the token supply allocated to the founders, the developers, the creators, which could potentially mean a future dump? If there's a modest allocation, it means they're thinking long term and they're not after a quick cash grab. And as you can see here, just 8% allocated to the core team. And at the time of recording this video, they've actually pushed out their unlock period for another two years so as to reinforce and stabilize and help support the price of the token which shows the way they're thinking they're putting the project first here you can see 55 percent over half of the entire supply of the token available for those nft stake and hub holders you buy the stake and hub it's going to passively generate these tokens for you for five years a nice community treasury of 25% and then 4% for stake and validators. And take a close look right there at that 6% for developer incentives. This is powerful because if you have a financial incentive for developers to come and build their dApps on this blockchain as opposed to other layer 1 options like Cardano, like Ethereum, they're going to be financially incentivized to build here and be rewarded. What does that mean for you? It means more action, more utility on this blockchain, more user acquisition with the finite supply that's going to drive up the price of the coin. Now that we have assessed the probability of the ULX coin sustaining and growing in value over time, it's now time to take a close look at the flagship product, the NFT staking hub. If you're brand new to the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, this may be a perfect entry-level vehicle to get you into passive staking rewards fast. If you're a seasoned veteran when it comes to staking, this may be a perfect one to add to your portfolio. It's going to give you passive staking rewards for five years that compound. We'll take a look at some graphs of the potential returns here in a moment. As an owner of this NFT stake and hub, you get first mover's advantage to all the new projects and dApps launching on the Ultron blockchain. There's a selection of stake and hub NFTs to suit every budget. As we always say, get in where you fit in, don't over leverage yourself and always use risk capital money that you can afford to lose. There's no guarantees in life and there's no guarantees when it comes to investing in finance. They vary from 100 USDT all the way up to 30,000 USDT and you can repurchase any of these or buy any of them that you want, as many as you want. They come with the five-year staking plan, all of them, and you earn 0.2% daily for the first year. We'll show you the halving cycle here in a moment. There's a halving cycle every year. With auto staking turned on, you initiate the compound effect and can earn as high as 311% return over that five years. With auto staking off, simple interest, linear interest, you would earn 70%. As mentioned, half and cycle every year and fully audited by Solidity Finance. Here you can see that audit on the Solidity Finance website. 
They're a top smart contract auditing firm and they're highly reputable in the industry. You may also be reassured to know that the layer one base infrastructure, the main net of Ultron Foundation is open source code. So anyone can read and monitor and interrogate it, which provides full transparency. You may also be interested to hear that in March of this year, we spoke face to face with a gentleman in Dubai who was doing his own due diligence on Mavi Global and Ultron. His team of developers had coded over 6,000 smart contracts and he set his team loose on the code of Ultron Foundation and it came back squeaky clean. Here you can see a comparison of auto staking on versus auto staking off. As you can see the compound effect is quite considerable if you simply allow your principal to continue to grow and compound because if you think about it you've more and more ULX coins that's earning you that percentage every day when you're auto staking. So it's basically where the money that your money is earning you is earning you more money. That effect compounding on itself over time is how you create turn even a modest amount into quite a substantial amount. So 311% over those five years with autos taken on and just 70% with it off. As mentioned earlier, the further into the future you can see, the better your short term decisions will be. If you decide to invest in an NFT staking hub, it just makes financial sense to leave autos staking on. As you can see here in this example, the first five years of Ethereum, there wasn't a whole lot of action, but look what happens if you play the long game. Not to say this is ever going to be as big as Ethereum, but even a 10x, 50x or 100x return on your initial investment, I think all of us will be happy with that. So you have two options. You can go straight to a centralized exchange or decentralized exchange like the ones I showed you earlier and directly purchase the ULX coin or the alternative, more sensible route in my opinion is to purchase the NFT staking hub and earn over 300% compounded returns over the next five years. There's multiple reasons why that's a smart idea, including mitigating risk. Because if you've earned 311% and worst case scenario, if the ULX coin loses 75% of its value over the next five years, you have still broken even. Whereas if you simply use a hodler buy and hold strategy, hold the coin and speculate that it's going to go up in value, then any decline in market value is a realized loss if you make your exit after five years. Whereas here you can afford to literally lose 75% of the coin value and still break even. For all the reasons mentioned earlier though, it's highly probable that the coin will continue to rise in value. The halving cycles, the halving periods take place in exactly one year intervals from the day your staking hub was minted. The first year you earn 0.2% per day, second year 0.1%, third year 0.05 and so on. The 311% compounded returns over the five year interval takes these halving cycles into consideration. These halving cycles make it fair for people that are purchasing the stake and hubs in a few years from now. When you purchase your stake and hub NFT, whether it's the $5,000 or $30,000 staking hub, you will receive the equivalent in ULX coins based on the current market price for the coin. That base amount of ULX coins that you just received are locked and are unlocked in phases over the next five years. This is commonplace to practically all proof of stake protocols and it's absolutely vital to help support the price of the coin and prevent whales from manipulating the price or dumping on the open market. And if you're thinking long term, this isn't an issue anyway, because your plan is to hold the coins long term and grow that initial base amount through the compound effect and potentially triple the amount of coins that you have after five years. These investing periods are even commonplace in IPO, initial public offerings in traditional finance. This is definitely something that you want to see enforced in a project like this to ensure its longevity and support the price of the coin long term. And for those that are thinking long term, it simply means that they're going to reap an even bigger harvest after those five years when they've earned that 300% on their initial base amount of coins. As a strategy, if you want to de-risk your position somewhat and get some of that initial principal investment off the table, as you can see after one year, 30% unlocks, you could sell that on the open market, recoup a portion of your initial investment and from there ride the wave. 
Here we are inside of our Mavi Global dashboard where we purchased our Ultron Staking Hub NFT on the 3rd of March 2023. We purchased the $12,500 Staking Hub which gave us an initial base amount of coins of 198,000 coins. As you can see we're now approaching nearly a quarter of a million ULX coins staked earning over 45,000 ULX coins with auto staking on, taking advantage of the compound effect. We're on track to get very close to a million coins over that five year interval of staking rewards. Here you can see the first unlock period. It tells you with the countdown timer and how much of the coins will unlock. As I showed you in a previous slide, that will be 30% in this case after the first year interval. However, we do plan to hold all of these coins, allow them to compound, approach that million coins, and with the influx of new users, as they move towards their quest for 100 million users, that should drastically impact the price of the coin over time. Let's take a look at what the future potentially entails for the Ultron Foundation. Here you can see what's already been accomplished, including launch of the mainnet, the ULX scan block explorer, Ultron Swap, decentralized exchange, including that cross-chain bridge. Ivana with her tattoo art, a big social influencer that launched her tattoo art as NFTs and was present at a recent event in Dubai, which we attended. So as you can see, the foundation is being laid, the infrastructure, and in order to scale, these numbers you see right here is the amount of unique wallets owning stake and hub nfts so each of these milestones are planning to roll out when there's a specific amount of users because you need a certain sized user base to make each of these steps viable a whole video by itself could be dedicated just to this roadmap there's a lot of detail a lot of projects coming and a lot of dApps but some important milestones, one will be this one right here, the validator program when a quarter of a million unique wallets is reached. If you remember, there's nine validators right now. The goal is to reach a thousand. That will put you on a level playing field with a layer one blockchain like Avalanche, which is close to a thousand validators. That means more decentralization, a more secure network. So the validator program is going to allow us as NFT staking hub owners the ability to plug into the validator program when we have a certain amount of ULX tokens staked. This is powerful. By tapping into the community to achieve this, it's going to accelerate the likelihood of it happening. And also it means people that choose to do this are going to get rewarded by tapping into that additional 4% of the total supply of those 50 billion ULX tokens. Lotto Day is currently in pre-launch at the time of recording this video, which is going to be the first of its kind decentralized global lottery on the blockchain, giving away a minimum of a million dollars per day. Here is a closer look at Lotto Day, the world's biggest crypto lottery, already developed and tested, potential rewards in both USDT and ULX, as mentioned with a million dollar jackpot every day. Unlike most lotteries around the world which are national or at most continental this will be the first of its kind to break down geographical barriers where it will be a global lottery this one will be quite exciting when it launches and give you the ability to spend your ulx coins straight from a card from your google wallet your apple pay this will build a simplified easy to use bridge between the traditional financial world and the world of cryptocurrency Reshape is a social data platform that's planned to launch on the Ultron blockchain, giving you ownership of your digital identity on the blockchain. The governance DAO, when we reach a million unique wallets, DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. In simple terms, it means that us as a community is going to have governance and the ability to vote on the potential direction of the Ultron blockchain and what we want to see roll out and the dApps we want to see launch on this layer one blockchain. Lending and borrowing soon after that at 1.1 million wallets, doing away and discarding with the need for traditional financial systems, banks and institutions when we're able to lend and borrow with each other right on the blockchain, potentially putting us in competition with existing competitors like Aave, which is an open source protocol for lending and borrowing. 
There will also be a launchpad, a crowdfunding platform for all of the developers creating dApps on the Ultron blockchain, allowing them to tap into the existing user base and raise capital to finance their ideas and their projects. We have barely scratched the surface with the future roadmap for Ultron. They have big plans and there's a lot coming down the pipeline as you can see. But everything you see on the screen here is impossible without two things. Those two things are money and attention. If you notice, every single milestone on this roadmap is based on one metric, and that's the amount of users, the size of the user base. Because without that attention, all of these plans, all of these ideas fall on deaf ears if nobody's watching. So you can have the best development team in the world, but if there's no one around to witness what you created, then it was futile. And so, how do you go about building out this user base? Traditional forms of media and advertising are dying. How many newspaper ads and billboards on the side of the road would you think it would be required to reach 100 million users for a product like this? Because it's such a noisy, hyper-competitive marketplace, the cost for customer acquisition is so high that Ultron would probably end up eating their profit margin if they're not left with the profit margin, they're not able to develop any of this. They're not able to hire the best of the best. You want them to be able to afford to develop everything you see on the screen here and hire the best of the best talent. There is one type of marketing that's becoming more and more popular in today's digital economy that gives the company a healthy profit margin and the breathing room to carry out and fulfill their vision. And that is network marketing, affiliate marketing, peer-to-peer -peer marketing, whatever you want to call it, word of mouth marketing, where us as the user base shares and spreads the word. It's a win-win situation. The company only pays when they acquire a customer by paying us a commission, and we get to benefit by building an additional stream of income as well as the product itself. The majority of this review has been focused on the products and services because it doesn't matter how good a compensation plan or a rewards plan is if the product sucks. The product is rock solid and so Ultron have collaborated with a third party marketing arm for the distribution called Mavi Global to sell and distribute the staking hub NFTs and push them into the marketplace. And we're briefly going to touch on how you can earn generous commissions by sharing the story of Ultron with others. The first is a direct bonus. This is straightforward. You sell a Stake and Hub NFT, you're instantly going to receive 7% of the value of that Stake and Hub NFT into your wallet that you're free to spend or purchase more Staking Hubs. If you hit the ground running in your first 30 days, roll up your sleeves, get to work and sell five staking hub NFTs that are equal or higher to the value of your staking hub NFT, you will instantly recoup 50% of the value of the staking hub that you purchased. The Mavi Global Compensation Plan uses a time-tested structure known as a binary. This is where you have two teams and you get compensated and paid on the weaker and the smaller of those two teams. You will receive 10% of the sales volume of the weaker leg paid out to you every week. Stick around to the end of this video and I'll share with you how you can have one of these teams built for you. As you purchase the larger staking hub NFTs, you raise the cap on how much you can earn from that weaker leg. 30% of the commissions that you earn is automatically reinvested for you, almost like a savings account, back in to purchase a bonus staking hub NFT. You may have seen that inside our Mavi Global dashboard when we shared that earlier in this video. This buyback supports the network and you want to be a product of the product. You want to believe in what you're selling and this is a powerful way for the entire sales community to reinvest to support the entire blockchain and the price of the coin. Just imagine for every hundred million dollars in sales that equates to 30 million dollars worth of the ULX coin being purchased through the NFT staking hub, literally offsetting $30 million worth of people selling the token. So whether you plan to sell the NFT staking hubs or simply be a passive investor, be thankful for this buyback support mechanism because it means more money in your pocket long term. We had the pleasure of meeting the CEO of Ultron, Shukrat, 
in Dubai as part of her due diligence. Super intelligent guy, but I'm not going to try and pronounce his surname. On the left of the picture is my incredible business partner, Susan Batchelder, and on the right of the picture is the legendary Yuri, who we chose as our sponsor. We spent many, many hours in the Mavi Global offices in Dubai, doing our due diligence, building relationships, and really getting to know the project inside out. Well, my friend, I hope you received a ton of value from this review. Those of you that have been around this channel for any length of time, you know that it's very rare that we give a project the green light and our stamp of approval, and this is one of them. We're very selective at sifting and sorting through the marketplace to find reliable, sustainable projects that are built for longevity and sustainability. And we believe that this project has a great future and it's here for the long term. Should you decide to get involved with Mavi Global and Ultron, we would love to have you as part of our community. If you would like to join with us, you can use the link in the description below this video. And the benefit to you in doing that is that everybody who watches this video after you for many years to come and decides to take action is going to be placed under you in the Mavi Global Rewards Plan. Also, if you are a leader with influence that is considering building this project, we are directly connected with the Mavi offices and we would be happy to arrange a visit for you. So go ahead and secure your NFT staking hub so that you can start earning those passive ULX staking rewards for the next five years. We're very confident in the powerful team behind this project that they are going to carry it all the way to the finish line. And as it continues to thrive and the community continues to grow with more validators and stakers, it's going to become more and more decentralized and attract more and more talent from developers to build on this ecosystem and build on this powerful layer one blockchain. So see you on the inside, my friends. Take care for now.